Hi, I'm Roy Murphy. You're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video. How do I make my YouTube videos? Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the BitConnect YouTube channel. Today we are going to be going through the process of how we make our YouTube videos. Um, we've had lots and lots of comments and requests from members of the team and from lots of new users and subscribers on the BitConnect YouTube channel. How on earth do you make all of your videos? Now, there are certain members of the team that actually want to start producing content for YouTube, and I completely applaud it, and especially if you're in my downline, if you guys succeed, then so do I. So this is a community thing. Um, if I teach you or, or at least give you a few pointers as to where to go, uh, how everything is produced, um, maybe you can take a few snippets of what I do and maybe integrate that into uh, into what you would like to do. So um, without further ado, we'll go through some of the things I use to produce the videos. So um, we need to look at what we do for recording. So what we use is if we go down here, you can see I've got OBS. So I'm using OBS software to actually do the recording. You see I'm actually still in studio mode and I'm actually recording. If I push this button, this will actually stop. So this is how we end the recording. So this will actually produce a file. Let's see if we can find this file. So if we go to this PC, so my output is actually in videos. I've got a separate um, hard drive or partition of a two terabyte hard drive uh, for my videos. So it's in YouTube. And we've got recordings, promo, render, thumbnails, and the actual YouTube recordings. So the final area will go over here. So if we go to recordings, you can see this is the actual file that is being recorded now. So it hasn't completed because we haven't completed the process. Um, and we'll go through the whole process of actually making a video. And we'll do that for you live. So uh, what else do we use? So we use a lot of Adobe products. So to do some of the intros and the outros, we use uh, Photoshop for uh, for editing some of the um, some of the screen caps, which we'll go through towards the end of this video. Um, Premiere Pro, obviously, we use that for doing the uh, editing of the actual video footage. Um, Lightroom, no. Acrobat, no. Uh, Dreamweaver, I use a lot for any web design. Um, I've shied away from that in the last four or five years because there are better, uh, better things for it. Uh, Audition, I use if I need to make some audio content. If the kids are crying in the background, or I need to add, I don't know, some cicadas or some background music, I will use audio to actually change the gain from the microphone I'm using. Um, we'll also use uh, fireworks. I have used a lot, but this is now deprecated. So we use a lot of Adobe software to actually do the production of some of these videos. So we'll get rid of that for now and we'll go through some of the production process. So I think the best way to start is to actually do a live recording. So we'll go out. So let's get rid of this. We will go through the process of actually going into recording a video live. We'll record that video live and then we'll go back and we'll edit that video. So what I'm about to do is actually do recording live for our other YouTube channel, which is the EthConnect YouTube channel, which we're just launching now. So we did the ICO update. We're now going to do a follow up. So let's get into that straight away. Hello everyone watching from the BitConnect YouTube channel. We are rolling and recording. So this is raw footage. This is how I edit things um, from start to finish and you see the before and you'll see the after of how these videos are edited. So um, this is going to be part of a, a, an upcoming video we're broadcasting for the BitConnect YouTube channel, but we are in the middle of doing a live recording for our other channel, which is the EthConnect YouTube channel. We haven't done an update in a while because there's not much going on. There's an ICO uh, that finished last week. I'm just going to give uh, some of our subscribers some updates as to what we're doing. And I thought it'd be a great idea to actually go through the whole recording process from the beginning and uh, see how we uh, edit it later on. So later on, you'll see this bit uh, being cut out uh, and the bit at the end that is being uh, cropped. And we'll do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll go through uh, auditing and editing the audio and we'll go through doing the intros and the outros. Uh, but you'll see in time that this bit will be cut out and we'll go through that process shortly. So you're seeing this live and we will probably now uh, roll straight into the live recording. So let's get rid of this box here 
and let's go into the live recording for the video for the EthConnect YouTube two channel. So um, we'll go straight into that in three, two, one. EthConnect post ICO update. Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel. It's been a little while since we've done an update and don't worry, I haven't died. So um, we just thought we'd give you a few updates because we've had lots of comments uh, during the ICO process where people have had issues with moving money, trying to bring BitConnect in, uh, export BitConnect out, trying to log in. There's been some serious issues throughout the whole ICO process. It was a bit of a palaver. For those of you that managed to get in, well done. For those of you that didn't manage to buy anything in the ICO, I understand your frustration because I found it highly frustrating. It took me two days to actually log in and actually get some of my uh, EthConnect coins. As you can see, I did manage to get some. Now up here, the 1,706 that I have in my wallet is actually referral fees. My actual ICO buy-in does not actually appear in this balance. Uh, we'll go through that in a moment. So um, updates. So EthConnect has actually migrated and moved to a whole new enterprise um, area for hosting. So there's a whole new hosting package uh, dedicated for EthConnect. You'll notice now that the uh, the servers that they added during the ICO, the ET, uh, the SVR one, two, three, and four, are now gone. So we're now in a fully load balanced area. So everything is much more responsive. It's a shame they didn't do this. Uh, before the ICO process, um, but we'll go through um, we'll go through all the adaptations. So um, the Bitcoin wallets are now open, the EthConnect wallets are now open, the Ethereum wallets are now open, and the registration forms have been opened up again. So you can now log in. So um, just to go over this one seven oh six, this is actually referral figures, but my my ICO buy-in, bearing in mind that it says there's no, there's none available and all 8 million coins have been sold, there's no bonus here. And it also says that the ICO starts in 13 days and 14 hours and 17 minutes. That isn't the ICO start, so don't get worried that there's going to be a new ICO. Uh, this is when the site will actually launch. This is when, uh, this is the 1st of December, this is when the site will launch. So um, don't worry about this too much. Um, their English isn't great because it's based in Japan and I think they're using some kind of translation software because their pidgin English is pretty poor. So if we go down to my wallet area, you'll see you've got the Bitcoin wallet. You see that the Bitcoin wallets are now open. I have managed to actually move the residual Bitcoin balance back into my Bitcoin wallet. So I've managed to do that. So that is now working. The Bitcoin wallets for sending and receiving are now open. The Ethereum wallets are also open to send and receive. The EthConnect wallets are still closed, but they should be open in the next 24 hours and the local transfer uh, will, is also currently closed. Uh, if we go into the transaction history, and I scroll down. You can see that the total that I've got, the 7,000 odd EthConnect coins, are from our massive uh, referral uh, team. So Team Smurf has now been replicated in EthConnect. And to all you guys that managed to get some uh, some coin, well done. A lot of people have been asking about the price and can they get EthConnect coin? Obviously, when the trading bots uh, when the trading area opens in December, you will be able to use the exchange. Uh, a few exchanges are also launching. Uh, we'll give you more details about that uh, in December. Um, but for those of you that think that you've missed out, obviously the ICO is for those that want to capture everything early and everything was bought, uh, started off at 50 cents. I imagine that the price on launch day and for the first couple of days will be below the 10 cents. I would hazard a guess I shouldn't do this because I'm usually wrong, but I should hazard a guess it'll probably be between five and 10 cents. So you may even have benefited long term. It could be a blessing in disguise if you didn't get in early because you'll probably find that it will launch on the exchange a lot less than what all of us guys that are in the team actually paid for. So don't worry, all isn't lost if you didn't get in. There is still opportunity. So if I now go to the last page, it should give me my first transaction if it loads and you can see there that my first transaction I bought a thousand coins at a 15% bonus it cost me 0 0.069 uh, Bitcoin 
and my 1150 ethkinect coins are actually missing from this total so this total should be reading 2856 ethkinect coins now they have said in their twitter feed that they know there's some issues they will fix it so all of you people that are have experienced and written to me personally saying there's something not right, there's a few things missing. They have promised that they are looking through the data. Now they've done this migration, um, they will be digging into it. They, they know there's some database issues. They're saying that everything's logged, everything's on the blockchain. They will go through it hand by hand. There are 200,000 people to go through, but they've promised they will uh, get to the bottom of all of this uh, before the site launches on the 1st of December. So don't worry too much. Uh, there is an email address I will give you shortly from their Twitter feed they've actually provided. One more thing before we go on. Um, lots of people have signed up going to the ETH Connect page, signed up and then thought that they could add us later on as a sponsor. That is not an option in EthConnect. It's not like BitConnect where you can actually go in and go to this area here. It's actually locked out. They won't allow you once you've signed up to actually add a sponsor. So if you want to join the team now and you haven't already joined already, you must use the link below this video. Okay, that's the only way you can join the team. Once you join once, you cannot change it. You're locked in forever. So um, if you are interested, if you want to get in and get in early and make sure that you, uh, you've got your exchange ready and you've got your Bitcoin balance ready to start buying some coin at a really, really good rate early on on the 1st of December, I would suggest you sign up now and join our team. Talking of which, look at the team we've got. Now, the team we've got here is actually bigger than the BitConnect team that we have on the BitConnect YouTube channel. Uh, this is should load. Now I've got 107 direct referrals. Total there's 215. 215 in the list. So I'm going to do some shout outs. I won't call out all the names, but we'll skim through the page. If you see your name, well done. You are now part of the team. So um, some of these guys, I'd say about 80% are actually in BitConnect as well. And some of the others who couldn't be part of the team because they were already signed up under other sponsors. Welcome to the team. So all of you guys, welcome. Uh, what I do want to go through whilst we're skimming through these, uh, let's get rid of this for a second. I do want to go through some of the Twitter uh, announcements that they've made. So I'll just scroll in here. It's not great quality because I've actually copied the, um, the screen cap because they didn't actually write it rather than type it. This is before they had the, the Twitter limit on the um, on the characters. It says, Dear all members, we have sold out the ICO within five days, earlier than expected a lot. Obviously, their English isn't their first language. So we sincerely thank all the investors for trusting and supporting us. Although we've been very well prepared, we can still not avoid serious mistakes on the day of ICO. No kidding. So we sincerely apologize to all members. We have scanned all Bitcoin and Ethereum transactions. If you have not yet received, please contact us by email. And the email address is balance at ethconnect.net. So if you have any issues, give them an email, let them know, keep it as short and as simple pidgin English as possible, bearing in mind that English isn't their first language and hopefully, hopefully you'll get some response and a resolution. We will check the entire system before opening withdrawal in a few hours. If you have any errors about buying ACO, please contact us as soon as possible. We will soon open the request exchange and local transfer functions and allow people to exchange ECH with others. Uh, instantly, no charge and restricting scams. EthConnect Wallet will open in a few days. Allow everyone to withdraw ECH to my Ether Wallet, Mist, MetaTask, MetaMask, etc. And together we will succeed. There's a, there's a sign of hope for all of you naysayers out there who uh, didn't want to uh, didn't want to join the ICO. Here's another thing that happened on their Twitter channel. The total amount we received after four days of deposits before the ICO is about 14 million US dollars. After the ICO, we collected about 5.7 million US dollars and half of it was shipped back to the hardware wallet for preservation. The rest will be used to implement the next plan. You can now withdraw your remaining balance on the system or keep the exchange to request trans transfers between EthConnect coin and BTC. EthConnect uh, coin and ETH, uh, Ethereum with other accounts to the system. Please wait for the latest news from us. And the last screen cap that I took before we sign off is an interesting one. Let's scroll in. This is a copy of their Bitcoin Core wallet. 
and you can see that the balance that they took is 1,637 Bitcoin. So in the last few days, Bitcoin's just literally gone over now, I think, to what are we at? What are we at? What are we at? Now oh, this is, uh, oh, this is Bitcoin Cash. That's diving, diving to 877. Let's look at the market. Let's refresh. Bitcoin 7987. It's nearly at $8,000. So um, yeah, I think it was just under 5.5 at the end. So they've made a killing. They've done really, really well, which is great for them because it gives them a really good springboard to launch from. So uh, long may it last. It's all good news for you guys. So um, again, if you've got any questions, any issues, bearing in mind that I don't have any affiliation apart from joining this as a journey, the same as you guys. If you haven't already joined, don't forget you have to click, if you want to join the team, the referral link below this video. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in December. I'm sure we'll, there'll be a few videos uh, we will launch before the, uh, the official uh, launch date on the 1st of December, but we just want to keep you informed. Uh, if you have any issues, don't forget to write uh, in the comments box below. We do uh, respond to every single comment. It may take us a little while, now we've got the two channels, but um, we will always answer all the emails and um, we will always give uh, honest and thorough feedback. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Roy Murphy, you've been watching the EthConnect YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so that is where we would actually draw the line now. So this is where we stop recording. Uh, we will go through the process later on, guys, um, of how to edit and cut this bit out and cut the front end bit out to actually merge this into the intros and the outros. So um, that was a first take. Uh, it wasn't a bad first take. I generally tend to just go through the whole process and uh, not edit anything if I can because the process takes so much longer if you have to edit. So um, when you've done so many videos like I have and as you get more accustomed to it. The only thing that we had in the background is my six month old daughter upstairs was screaming her head off because she's teething. So I don't know if that came through on the audio. I may have to filter that out, but um, there you go. So um, we're gonna stop recording now and we'll carry on uh, in the BitConnect YouTube video and go through the editing process. So um, there you go, guys. I hope that was informative for you. We're gonna stop recording now, so we'll see you soon. Take care. Okay, so we've recorded our video and that we will have to find now and see whereabouts that lives. So if we go back into our area here, you will see that the video recording it now appears here. So what we need to do now is add that to our Premiere Pro as a project. So we now need to go back down to Adobe and we need to open Premiere Pro. So let's go forward and open that. We'll get rid of the Creative Cloud area and we'll wait for this to open. So lots of the projects that we've made so far. So we've created one for EthConnect, we've done one for promos, we've done one for, well, you'll probably see as it pops up. There you go. So we've got EthConnect, BitConnect, we've got the BitConnect event, which was a special uh, production that we did to actually make, to, to cover the whole thing live. And we've got promo area uh, for making video promotion. So if we now go to EthConnect, we're going to open this as a project. So the previous one here, so the videos have already moved. So some of these are saying, actually, I don't understand where these are. So these have moved to a different area. These are the pre-rendered videos before they've been edited. So they don't no longer exist in the area where they were. So we're just going to go offline all. And it's going to bring that project up where it was with the missing areas. So we've got the outro here. So you can see the outro is there. So um, we'll show you where that lives in a moment. The previous recording is missing because I've moved it to a different destination. And if we scroll over here, so we've got the intro, we've got the area here, which is the uh, EthConnect ICO live area. So we need to edit that. So that is what we're missing. Also the, the intro, um, the voiceover for the intro is also missing. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, we've only done the one video. I normally keep them in the same place. I've done something silly, so I'll actually have to re-record that live. So what we're doing now is the main content of the previous video no longer exists. So we may as well get rid of that. So all we can do is highlight the area and click delete. The previous intro area also are missing. So we're gonna have to re-record that. So let's go to that area first. 
So we've got an intro here that uh, I've literally just made. So I've just pre-recorded this. Now it doesn't matter about the background because we're going to have an overlay on top. So let's have a little listen to this. So you can see you've got the intro area, the fade <coughs> area, and now we're going to go into the actual intro, which you should hear now. Hello, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video. Okay, so that is the um, that area there. So we're going to use that now and crop it. So we're going to go through the process of actually making that. So let's take that and drag that into our area. So let's minimize this and then bring up Premiere Pro. We're going to reduce the page size so we can drag and drop, save us actually having to go through the whole process of importing. And we're going to bring that into this area here. Now, I haven't made the window big enough, so let's just make that window a little bit bigger. Let's drag this across over here so we've got some room and let's make sure we get it in the right area. So we want to plot the video over here and make sure that the video area and it's also capturing the audio area. So if we grab this video now, we can drag that raw footage into this area. Now we can maximize the screen. So what we want to do now is listen to actually, we, we can actually zoom in. So if we actually make this a bit bigger, we can scroll up and we can zoom in on this area here. So we can see the audio, where the audio kicks in. So you can see the audio actually doesn't kick in till over here. So we need to crop it over here. So let's play the whole thing. So you can see some clicking in the <clears throat> background. The previous overlay is now fading out. And now you've got the picture of my screen cap. So we're going to Hello, delete I'm the Roy beginning. Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel coming up in today's video. Okay, so that's the end. So we need to crop this area before and after. So let's go to this part here. So let's scroll in. Let's make sure we can scroll in here and get really close up on the audio. And we need to get our cut tool. So we're going to cut just in front of the intro. We're going to cut and everything in front of it, so we need to use our select tool. Everything in front is now going to be deleted. And we're going to drag this across, move it across. OK. So let's drag this. So now the overlay is going to actually get rid of our desktop background. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit to make this a bit easier for ourselves. There you go. So now we're going to drag that all the way across. And if we play, we'll go. Hello, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel coming up in today's video. OK, so that's where we do the actual intro itself. So we need to cut the back end of this off now. So this is where we have the today's video is video. So we need to cut the end of that off so we can actually stitch the next part of the video on there. So let's go there. Select tool, highlight the bit we're chopping off and then hit delete. So what we're going to do now is leave that there for a moment because we need the rest of the video. So let's just play that again. So you can see if we just scroll down and see the render area, we've got the YouTube channel for EthConnect coming in. So where these live, if I show you, if I go to the EthConnect area or go back to recordings or back to YouTube, you can see we've got the promo area here. So you've got you should know this one. This is the outro this to the video normal video. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. Okay, so that's the outro. We've made a whole new outro for the EthConnect YouTube channel. So this is the one that we made this recently. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. We bring you new video. Okay, and then we've got the intro that you know and love already. So this is the <laughs> and then we've got the EthConnect one that we've made. So you can see that those live there and we've already added those to the beginning of the video. So that's what you're seeing now. So we've got the overlay on top. So with the videos, the extra layers on top are the layers that show first. So the layer on top, as it moves into here, you've got the text overlay on top. Hello, I'm Roy Which we can edit. Uh, we'll do that towards the end of the video. So now what we need is the actual content of the video. So what we're going to do now is drag in the rest of the uh, video that we already recorded. So you've seen the main recording from scratch. So let's go now to, let's get rid of this. Um, so you can see how complex this can be. So if you go back to video, 
It's a pain in the backside sometimes to actually find everything that you've done. And you can see that producing an hour long video or a half an hour video will actually take four or five hours to produce. So I hope you kind of understand how long this can take. So if we go to YouTube and we go to recordings. So this is the current recording that we're recording now live. And this is the previous recording that we did just now. So um, we can just have a quick preview. So Hello everyone the... watching from the BitConnect YouTube channel log in. So, so um, this is the video that we're adding. Just to go so over this, this video 1706, is this long. is actually referral figure. So you've already seen this. So what we need to do now is add that to our production line. So we need to scroll across and this is where it's going to live. So it's going to come at the end of the, uh, the, the pre-intro, the voiceover for the intro. And we now need to drag that in. Okay. So what we need to do now is get rid of all of the pre-talk. So let's scroll through. So it's going to take a little while it's, because it's a 13 minute long video. Um, what we need to do is to get rid of all the intro that you saw previously and then actually crop that out. So where do we get into the, the, the meaty stuff? So we need to scroll forward and cut that out. One minute. No, we've gone too far. So I'm looking visually for the audio files to see where we, um, we did what we did. So let's just play this and we'll figure out where that is in Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll go through uh, auditing and editing the audio and we'll go through doing the intros and the outros. Uh, but you'll see in time that this bit will be cut out and we'll go through that process shortly. So you're seeing this live and we will probably now uh, roll straight into the live recording. So let's get rid of this box here. And let's go into the live recording for the video for the EthConnect YouTube two channels. So um, we'll go straight into that in three, two, one. EthConnect. Okay, so this is the area where we actually want to merge our intro into the start of the video. So we're going to go back to our cut tool. And we're going to cut everything forward of that line. So let's cut there. And we're now going to delete uh, the prelude that I gave you in the first instance and we're going to delete that. So this will now become, so let's zoom out, this will now become the, the start of the video. So let's drag this in. So that is now part of the intro. And let's bring the cursor over here and let's zoom back in again. And let's see how that transition works. So let's go back here. Hello, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel coming up in today's video. EthConnect post ICO update. Okay, so now what we need to do, now we've got that far, we need to actually edit this to emulate what we've just said. So um, what did we say? EthConnect post ICO update. EthConnect post I ICO update. So we're going to highlight that. And then we're going to go to our text area. We need to make some room. Now I've changed my window, so we need to go to text and then edit this. So we now need to delete. So it's ETH connect. And then we're going to go to dash. No, nope, let's go back. Let's go post ICO update. There you go. And it's not Bit it's not ETH connect live. It's actually we'll call this one. I don't know. ETH connect update ETH connect news. We'll call it news. So we'll create a playlist for this. Um, so we'll show you how to create playlists as well in the YouTube channel. So EthConnect News, EthConnect Post ICO Update. So this will show throughout the duration. So what we want to do is for this to phase out as we go into our actual content. So let's Post see how ICO that works. Update. Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel. Is so that kind of works. That's good enough. Uh, it kind of transitions into the content. So I'm happy with that. So there's nothing within the audio that I particularly want to edit out. I mean, if I was being perfectionist, I could spend five or six hours making sure that all the gaps um, within the audio were closed together. There wasn't big ands and buts and mms and, you know, I, I could spend a long time perfecting the audio and making the video fit. So if you're a perfectionist, it could take you literally hours to make a half an hour video. It could take five or six hours, um, but we're not going to be that. Um, we produce videos every single day. So if we took that long 
bearing in mind I spend 10 hours every single day making um, either making videos, answering emails, uh, responding to comments. So if I did that, I just wouldn't have a life at all. So we, we need to find a balance. And I'm pretty happy with the way everything's going. Um, I'm not too bad at ad-libbing and just making stuff up. I don't, I never have, um, you know, content written down or refer to any notes. So I just kind of like, I, I have an idea in my head about what I'm going to say. Uh, if there's any particular websites or any content that I need to have to hand, I'll make sure it's open before I start recording the video. And that's it. It's just a case of being prepared and being comfortable in your own skin and making sure that you're happy. So what we need to do now is cut the end of this video off uh, where we did the transition. So let's scroll down towards the end of the video. Um, we can see visually where we are. So we want to make sure that the, uh, there you go, so we've gone too fast. We just need to step back a little bit. Let's drag this cursor across. Let's make it so we can see what's happening on the screen here. And let's just play until we get to where we want to be. Uh, if you have any issues, don't forget to write uh, in the comments box below. We do uh, respond to every single comment. It may take us a little while. Now we've got the two channels, but um, we will always answer all the emails and um, we will always give uh, honest, and thorough feedback so um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already i'm roy murphy you've been watching the ethernet youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video okay so we want to cut here okay as soon as we get to the i'll see you in the next video which is my it's become my default sign off for um for whatever reason uh, that's that's my sign off so um here is the end of the video we're going to cut there and then we're going to transition into our consolidating uh, outro so what we need to do now is go to the select tool go to the outro bit the bit that is missing we're going to cut all that off and now we need to stitch the outro which should be at the end of the previous video so okay so there's a bit missing from that video so we're going to actually delete that and if we go all the way over to the end, let's zoom in. Let's go over to here, let's zoom in a bit more. Let's play. Okay, let's skip it a little bit so we can actually get to the end. So this is the bit that we're looking this for. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. Okay, so that works. So what we need to do now is zoom back out and we need to drag that all the way across the end of the video and see how the transition works. There are different ways of doing transitions. I can show you that in another video, but um, we're trying not to make this too complicated. All I'm doing is dragging that to the end of the video. And then let's play date on the 1st of December, but we just want to keep you informed. Uh, if you have any issues, don't forget to write uh, in the comments box below. We do uh, respond to every single comment. It may take us a little while. Now we've got the two channels, but um, we will always answer all the emails and um, we will always give uh, honest and thorough feedback. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Roy Murphy. You've been watching the EthConnect YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. Okay, so that works. So we're going to scroll now to the end of that particular piece and wait for the cursor to finish. And there's a reason why. So Comments let's do box this. Below. F -connect. Creating wealth for everyone. Okay, so the cursor will actually stop at the end. Now what I want to do is scroll out and create an end point for the end of the video. Otherwise you're going to have all this black dark line because we've actually got the previous video ending here. So we need to drag it across and you can see all the lines come down. So we need to now scroll in, make sure we've got to the end of the video. There you go. So it's marked the end of the video. So now that video, uh, let's just make sure that everything's okay. I tend to do a, a quick once over to make sure the transitions are okay. So we're going to start from maybe here. Let's just do do the play area and just make sure this, this works. So we've got the transition. Hello, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube the channel. Text. Coming up in today's video. EthConnect post, post ICO, ICO updates. Update. Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the EthConnect YouTube channel. Okay, it's been so a little while since we've done that. an update and don't so we can now export. So what we do now is we need to render this video as it is with the audio. So sometimes I will actually play with the audio a little bit. So it seems a little bit quiet uh, compared to everything else. So I'm just going to raise the audio gain on the main recording. So 
What, I'm, uh, what I've noticed is that if I get too close to the microphone, it will blow out on the high end. If I do something too loud, it will actually just distort. So what I'm trying to do is do it slightly quieter, move the microphone further away, but I need to change my audio gain. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the audio gain and I'm going to add that by two decibels across the board and it will actually make it slightly louder. So let's just make sure it's not too loud and it's not blowing out the microphone. The Youth Connect YouTube channel. It's been a little while since we've done an update, and don't worry, so I, I need to make sure that so, I'm not um, hitting the red. We just thought we'd give you a few updates because the red, then we've my, had um, lots of comments. Uh, if I hit the red, that means I'm blowing out the microphone and I'm getting too much gain. So it looks about perfect. There's there's some high points here. Let's just make sure those high points aren't too high. With moving money, trying to bring BitConnect in, uh, export BitConnect out. Okay, so that looks good to me. So there's a little bit of red, just touched, but it's not blowing out the uh, the speakers. So we need to be careful with that. So we are now ready to actually scroll all the way out and actually render that video. So the rendering is actually producing a single file that we can upload. So we'll scroll all the way back to the beginning. We're good. So we're now going to go to File, go to the drop down, go to Export, and go to Media. So we're going to export the media. Now I've got my screen resolution moved into zoom and the export is on the bottom right there. So if I let go of the screen, it's actually the button is here. I have to be very, very careful that I just select it here and then go to render. So it's saying that there are six minutes uh, rendering time um, until the video is ready. So I'll show you where that is going to live. So eventually that will go to YouTube and it will end up in the render area. So you can see the video is getting ready. The two parts are here and it will all be joined later on to form one video. So what we need to do now is prepare where we're going to put that video. So normally you can't get rid of this render screen, but in uh, Windows uh, 10, you can actually go to the bottom right hand corner and get rid of everything that's on the uh, on the icon screen. So you can actually go and go into your YouTube channel. So. Here's the BitConnect channel. This, this is my upload page for BitConnect. Uh, you can see the comments area here. Uh, new comments just come in. Hello, I made a mistake on sending Bitcoin to EthConnect Bitcoin wallet from GDAX without realizing. Well, sorry, my friend, you're going to have a bad day because there's no way of reversing that transaction. Um, <laughs> I love this one. You're annoying. Well, I'm not to everybody's taste, so uh, deal with it, I suppose. Um, I think the main thing, if you are going to produce videos for YouTube, you have to have a very, very tough skin. You have to be able to have water coming off a duck's back. You've got to not get involved with negative comments. You cannot get involved and get, um, you, you know, caught up with trolls. If you're starting out, what I would say is take everything with a pinch of salt. If your intentions are good, then make sure that you do all the research you can give the best information you can and produce it in the best way you can um, it doesn't have to be a polished um, you know production i mean our productions aren't that polished but they're they're, they're intermediate to to fair um, but don't beat yourself up. Um, don't be your worst enemy. It's easy to take on other people's comments. I mean, I actually had a death threat yesterday. It's the first one in a while, I must admit. Uh, and it was all to do with Bitcoin Cash. Uh, one of the reasons, uh, give you an idea, an idea whilst this is rendering. Um, Bitcoin Cash went up to two and a half thousand. Um, someone was saying that Bitcoin Cash was going to go above 2000 and it was going to the moon and what I was saying was a load of rubbish and what do I know and they're going to find me and they're going to kill me. Uh, so you, you can't let comments like that get to you. I've, I've had death threats before related to cryptocurrency and my involvement in cryptocurrencies over the years. Um, I'm not saying you're going to have these problems, but just be prepared that people will not always like what you were doing. Um, you will get people calling you all sorts of names and you just have to either my policy is if you get an effing and blinding idiot on youtube don't even respond if they're not bringing any contribution to what you're doing why even enforce it with your reaction either give something either empower yourself 
by saying you're wonderful great great content I didn't think of it that way or just delete the comment if you don't delete that comment then other people it will incite other trolls so that's the probably the best advice I can give you for for running a YouTube channel so um, whilst we're waiting that's almost rendered already so let's go to our YouTube channel now we're in the wrong channel we're in the BitConnect channel so let's switch channels we're going to go to the ethconnect website okay so this is the ethconnect channel um, before we start uploading don't forget to um, like and subscribe if you go to our um, about us page you can actually see the links and all the information for the ethconnect channel so if you want to join don't forget like and subscribe and you'll get content as and when we produce it so you can see how the ICO uh, process is going and uh, how we're getting along with this uh, with this new venture so um, what we need to do now is uh, get to the area where we're uploading so we've got the upload area here so this is where we upload new videos so this is going to be prepared how are we doing here so this video has now finished producing so before we close this we want to make sure we save the project so that is saving the project so if we delete this page now we can always re re-render it later on so let's get rid of this without closing and let's go back to our area here so we want to go to our render page so this should have finished so this is ETH intro mp4 so we're going to rename this and I'll show you how I rename these if I go to video and go to uh, YouTube area and go to YouTube if you go to the recordings for BitConnect and actually go to the 2017 you've got the BitConnect annual ceremony here which I've got all of my main videos we've got the main annual ceremony and I've got all the uh, all the all the live music videos um, that we edited and we actually got permission from uh, BitConnect to actually um, use these on our YouTube channel and then everything is in sequential order so this is our very first video second video so everything starts with zero 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 or zero 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 uh, and then three four five so everything here is a historic look at everything that has been produced um, we're not on video 28 I think we're on video 32 33 because of the videos we put from the ceremony so these are the finished products so these are the backups of everything that's on YouTube and then we've got the rendered videos as well under recordings um, so we'll show you how we do that so we have the render so this is actually video number two for ethconnect so we're going to change the name to 0002 okay this is the way that I do it so I'm going to copy this first of all so I'm going to have the raw copy and I'm going to pop this in uh, recordings I'm going to put it in ethconnect and we're going to paste okay so there's the previous video the live ICO and this is the new video we're going to go back to YouTube back to render and I'm now going to cut this because this is the version that I'm now going to upload to YouTube so on the YouTube area under ethconnect 2017 so I'll, I'll create a new folder uh, next year and the sequential numbers will f will follow one from where we left off so um, just so that when we're finding videos um, we know where everything is so before we actually upload we just check the video is rendered and that we've got audio so let's just click that forward. hello I'm Roy Murphy welcome to the ethconnect YouTube channel coming up in today's video ethconnect post ico update hello everyone i'm roy murphy welcome to the ethconnect youtube and channel it's been a little while since we've done the update and okay. i'm roy murphy we bring you new videos each and every day to join our team click the referral link okay i'm happy that that's going to be okay so now we, what we want to do is go to our upload page we're going to maximize the screen click the upload area so it says select files to upload so we can use the drag and drop area here and we're going to drag that okay now what's happening what I've done in the area I'll, I'll have to show you this later on but under the um, YouTube channel updates um, it will actually show you your default settings so you can set your defaults for upload so I have most of my content already uh, linked in so you see that it says here ethconnect is the newest way to build and grow your Bitcoin and, and ethereum assets by bot trading on the blockchain sign up now and see what everyone is raving about and it has the link for the sign up here uh, this is a bit Lee this is a shortened URL which takes you to my uh, actual sign up page remember what we said in the video if um, 
if you do want to sign up to EthConnect, you have to use this link to be part of the team. You can't sign up and then add us later on. So do click this link. Someone the other day on BitConnect, it's quite annoying because they put a considerable amount of money uh, after saying that they'd signed up with us and they'd actually copied and pasted this as the uh, username for the sign up contact as a sponsor rather than click the link. So make sure you click the link. So everything's already pre-filled out. The only thing we have to do here is um, is go to the name of the video. So it's EthConnect and the name of the video is Post ICO Update. So let's type that in, Post ICO Update. So that is pretty much ready to go. So as soon as that has finished uploading, we can actually click the Publish. So what I'm doing now, I need to create any playlist that this is going into. So this is under ICO. I only have one playlist, so this is still part of the ICO process. So we've got ICO here. So this will actually be added to the playlist ICO. And what I'm going to do now is actually add this, and I'm going to make sure that the Twitter page, and I haven't actually linked this. I don't think I've done a Twitter thing. So I'm actually going to authorize the app to actually post this video to my, there you go. So I've now added this video to be linked to my Twitter page. So every time I add a video in BitConnect or in EthConnect, it will actually say, I've just added a video and it will give you the name of the video. Uh, so it's all automatically tied to your social media. Now I haven't added it to my Facebook. Uh, my Facebook is actually private for friends and family. So I don't use that for marketing purposes. And the same with things like, um, you know some of the some of the picture messaging uh, like Instagram I, I don't use uh, I do use it but I use that for for close friends and family I don't use that so Twitter it's uh, business related I use Twitter and I use uh, LinkedIn for for professional and for business and commercial stuff so the only thing I share it with at the moment is with Twitter you can do what you like if you want if you want to create a page now we haven't actually created yet a dedicated ETH Connect or a BitConnect Facebook page. Um, I think we will do in the new year because um, it's just another avenue, isn't it, of uh, sharing your content. Um, we are going to be uh, focusing on actually building the website and the forum and making an online calculator uh, with live stats. So that's what we're concentrating on. We're trying to get that live before new year. So whilst this is uploading what you will notice is when the video is finished uploading it will give you three snapshots of the video but you will notice that you've got custom thumbnail so all of our videos we actually create a custom thumbnail and we also create extra um, th these are the default uh, keywords so what extra keyword could we do here we could say um, so we've got that you've got the general ones I want to add some more so I'm going to say uh, ICO update So we're going to add that to our list of keywords, which is searchable within Facebook. So what we're going to do now is go to custom thumbnail. So we need to create a custom thumbnail. So I've already got one created and I'll show you how we do that whilst this is uploading. So it's rendering. So we're going to go back to YouTube and then we're going to go to thumbnails. So if you can see, if we, I'll show you how we do it on BitConnect. Um, this is the JPEG. And what we've got, we open our JPEGs up uh, or we create our JPEGs from a master, which is a Photoshop image. So I want to show you the layers that we use um, just to make it really, really quick and simple. What I've done is I've created all the different layers for all the different playlists and we can open those up. So here you've got the uh, BitConnect logo, we've got the BitConnect uh, name, and then we've got the change area and then we've got the name of the video here. So if you look at the layers, you can see that we've got reinvest, tutorial, news. So I can close off reinvest and I can open up tutorial. So it saves me having to type it every time. We've got news, we can actually delete tutorial. So all the different variations, we've got challenges, um, we've got BitConnect 101. So these are the things that we want to do. So um, this is how we change it here. And then we've got the cash market. Um, so we've got the main uh, area here, which we can edit. And then if we click, we, we can actually edit it here. And then it, we're gonna export that as a JPEG. And then we're gonna upload it to uh, to YouTube. So this isn't what we are looking for. So we're going to delete this. So we might as well close the whole thing. We're going to cancel any changes. No, nope. delete, discard. No, we're not going to save because we want to keep that. So what we're going to do now, we've got the EthConnect PSD file. So we're going to create our custom thumbnail so we don't have to rely on the generic screen cap that uh, YouTube uses. 
So we're not going to say EthConnect Live, so we're going to go to the Live area and select it. So that means that we can now edit this. So this is going to be EthConnect News. So let's delete this. I'm going to create EthConnect News. So that looks uh, that looks okay. And then what we're going to do now is to go to the EthConnect area where we've got our text, which is here. And now we can edit our text. So let's get rid of these layers. So the name of this is EthConnect Post ICO Update. So we're going to delete EthConnect Post, and we're going to do three layers ICO Update. Okay, so that will be exported now. So we're going to save that uh, as the PSD. So we're just going to go save. And now we're also going to save as, and we're going to save that as a JPEG. So we're going to go save as in the same area, but we're going to select a JPEG. And we're going to overwrite the one that's already there. So we're going to say it's quality eight, so it's not too high. There you go. So ethconnect.psd, we can now close Photoshop. So if we look here, we've got ethconnect. That's why I haven't spelt it right. It's ethconnect, so we can delete that one. So this is our uh, ethconnect ICO live. So now if we go to, whilst this is uploading, is it finished? So it's finished uploading, it's now processing the video. And what that processing is, it's going through the errors of making sure it's going through the audio, making sure there's no copyright material in there. So if you've got any songs in the background that are in the charts or you've got any historic, um, anything that's that's been, you will be surprised how much audio is in the memory banks for YouTube, it will pick up anything. Anything that's been on TV before, anything that you don't have a license to upload, it will pick up on it. And if you have three strikes, you are out of YouTube. If you do anything wrong, it will give you three strikes. It will tell you in your YouTube channel settings. So make sure that none of your, um, none of the content in your videos is subject to any kind of copyright. And the other processing is making the different um, the different resolution versions. So if you're recording 4K or 1080p, it will make a 420, uh, 480, it will make a uh, 480, a 720 version, depending on your speed. So it's it's going to take about a minute uh, until we can actually publish this video because it's still doing the processing area. So whilst it finishes doing that, what we want to do is now add our custom thumbnail, and we need to go to this PC. We're going to video, YouTube, over to the thumbnails area, and we're going to upload this EthConnect. So it's EthConnect Live. No, that says EthConnect Live. That doesn't seem right, does it? EthConnect Live, EthConnect ICO Live. That doesn't look right. So I think we've messed that up or deleted the wrong thing. Ah, that's why. So we have actually deleted the wrong thing. So we're going to delete that JPEG. Uh, I think we saved this one, didn't we? So we need to reopen this. Nope, I didn't want to select that. Okay, let's go back to our folder. So these are the little problems that you have when you're doing things live. Um, this happens almost every evening. Thumbnails, so it would, would help if I actually spelt this right. So we're going to call it ETH Connect and spell it properly. Now we're going to open this up. Now the PSD I've already saved, so all I need to do is re-export that JPEG. There you go. So now we're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to save that as a JPEG. There you go. Save. OK. Now that's finished. We can actually close this. Now this is the folder, so now it says you connect post ICO update, so we've got the right image saved. Let's go back and let's try again. There we go. So that should upload pretty quickly. There you go. And the processing is done so all we need to do now is publish. There you go. It takes about three seconds and it's live and it gives you your link. So if I now go to my Creator Studio you can see that it's now ready. 
zero views, zero likes, zero dislikes, zero comments. There you go. That is the process. So if you've got any questions or ideas or you know you want to know the hardware I use or the uh, software I use uh, externally for different projects, don't forget to uh, ask in the comments box below. I hope you've enjoyed this fairly long video and uh, hopefully it gives you some inspiration uh, for your own YouTube channel. And again, if uh, any of our subscribers who want to actually start producing videos for YouTube, uh, you can email me in the uh, comments box below and uh, I'll give you some proper feedback and give you some ideas and pointers and maybe even show you where you can get some free stuff as well. So um, there you go. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe. I'm Roy Murphy and I'll see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. We bring you new videos each and every day. To join our team, click the referral link below this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and interact with us in the comments box below. But connect. Creating wealth for everyone.